Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. Before we get started, I just wanted to address that I am gonna wear press-ons for all of these looks, just because I wanted to be able to show you it better, and my natural nails are really short right now, but all of these designs will totally work on short or long nails. For this first design, I started with a beige color polish, and I did two coats of that, and then I applied a top coat to help it dry faster. Now I'm gonna grab some really pretty rainbow pastel colors and a cosmetic wedge, and on the flat side, I just overlap each of those colors so that when I sponge them on my nail it makes this really pretty almost sunset watercolor like effect and on each nail I turn the sponge so that I get different colors in different areas and this design turned out so cute I chose four colors to do these gradients but you can use as many colors as you'd like you can use different colors you could do a full-on rainbow if you want it's truly customizable just have fun with it I used a q-tip soaked in nail polish remover to clean up any of that polish that I got on my skin. And then I'm gonna finish with a layer of micro holographic glitters and a clear base. And this just really makes those colors pop and just adds so much sparkle to this look. And I just absolutely love this design. I'm gonna finish with a quick dry top coat to seal in the polish and add a beautiful shine. This design is perfectly cute on its own, but it could also make a great base for some nail art, like maybe try some big white fluffy clouds for a fun spring manicure. Moving on to the next look. For my first nail, I'll be using that beige polish again, and I did two coats of that. And then on the remaining nails, I'm using this really fun shade of green, and I did two coats of that until it was fully opaque. And I lost a little bit of footage, but on that beige nail, I just did a French tip with that same green color. Now I'm using a white polish, and I used a big dotting tool to create a simple five petal flower. And then I ended up using a detail brush just to round out those petals a little more. And then on my ring nail, I did smaller versions of those flowers and I did it in sort of a pattern shape. Once the white base of those flowers is dry, I'm gonna add a little center and I did it in yellow, but you can do this in any color you'd like. Finish with a generous layer of top coat to add a gorgeous shine and to smooth out all of those layers. French tips are super on trend for the season and I love the mix and match nature of this design and it's fully customizable too. And speaking of trends, for the final design, I'm gonna show you another trend that's super hot for the spring season coming up. 3D decor and not just any 3D decor, mix and match colors 3D decor. I'm applying these colorful rhinestones over top of this beige nail and I love the contrast of the minimal nail with a pop of sparkle and the colorfulness of this is just so fun. I just stuck these rhinestones into wet top coat but you can always use a nail glue if you really want to make them last. This manicure just makes me so happy because it's so sparkly and colorful but it is a little over the top so if you'd like you can always just do one nail as an accent nail to try it out. So there you have three minimalistic nail designs perfect for spring. To watch more Cute Polish videos, click on your screen here and be sure to click the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye!